So hey there, Explorers Pokemon Show, sure bringing some 90 goodness for you. So before moving any further, I have something to show you. A message from an unknown person. So let's stop for a while and check out what it says. So Trainer, here is what we are talking about, Shadow Raids debut during the Rising Shadow event. Can you face the Shadow Trainers? Shadows are rising, Team Rocket has grown audacious, they have discovered how to leave Shadow Pokemon to defend gyms. So this is the very first time that a legendary Shadow Pokemon is going to defend the gym. These new Shadow Raids are unlike any challenge Trainers had yet faced in Pokemon Go. Shadow Mewtwo will return to Pokemon Go in Shadow Raids. So if you haven't caught it earlier, it's your chance now. Also for the first time in Pokemon Go, you'll be able to encounter Shadow, Shadow Mewtwo if you're lucky. So the normal Shadow Mewtwo is awesome, but the shiny Shadow Mewtwo is way more much. Why not? So talking about the Rising Shadow event details, so Monday, my turn to do at 10 am to Monday 28, 2023 at 8 pm local time, Shadow Raid will debut in Pokemon Go. And for the first time, Shadow Shiny Mewtwo will be available starting from May 27 from 10 am to May 28 at 8 pm local time for one day only. Also, the following Pokemon will be first to appear in Shadow Raids. So, starting from Monday, May 22nd to Sunday, May 28. 8 pm local time majority of gyms will host shadow raids so on the one star raids shadow polybox shadow macho shadow bulk sprout and shadow beldum and many of them are shiny so if you did not get them through the leaders you can get it now three star raids will feature bay leaf quileva trocono shadow shinzel which are the best in the ultra league if you evolve them and pre fan them also, normal raids will also take over during the event duration. Buckley Ferry, Tentacu, Meryl, Magneton, Lapras, Mayweile. And in 5 star raids, the Reggie Gigas will be appearing in star raids from May 24 at 10 am local time. Mega raids will be Mega Pinsy and Mega Altaria. Also, during the event duration, Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestop and in gyms and balloons and complete field assist tasks too. Defeating the rocket and catching Pokemon will be available. So let us not quickly talk about what are purified gems and how do we collect them. So purified gems are basically special items that can be used in shadow raids to help defeat the shadow raid boss. So in order to create a purified gem, you must collect shadow shards by defeating Team Rocket grunts, leaders, and the boss Giovanni. So likewise, we create component by defeating the Team Rocket Grunts, likewise you have to collect them. So you have to collect 5 Shadow Shards and you can use them in the Shard Refiner to create a purified gem. So once you created that, you can use it in a Shadow Raid Battle when the Raid Boss is enraged. So purified gem basically helps you to subdue the Shadow Raid Boss and which neutralize their enraged state and making them easier to defeat. And this effect will stack if other trainers in Shadow Raid Battles also use Purified Gems. So yeah trainers, this is all for today's journey with 90 games. I hope you guys did enjoy the new Shadow Raids coming soon to Pokemon Go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is this a good new feature or not? Will it be able to save the Pokemon Go future or not? So yeah, trainers, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will definitely with you guys in the next one. So until then, keep exploring, keep discovering hidden gems around you, because as Nantic says, adventure is always out there. So until then, meet out there. Bye, guys.